Hey guys, time for the last update of 2020. Hmm, been an interesting year this far, hasn't it? Yes, I was actually hoping to do a uh, update before Christmas, but I just straight up ran out of time. I have been on holiday, but things haven't exactly uh, gone to plan. I was hoping to get a shit ton of recording done. Um, didn't happen. Uh, partner's not been very well uh, mentally. Um, and yeah it's just been a bit of a, a bit of a weird end to a weird year it's been good uh, and the, we have got the new kittens now which are tearing the place up as we speak they're actually getting quite big and if they do wander in here uh actually i might go grab them in a minute <laughs> you can hear her shouting at them already yeah they're, they're getting really big um so because i haven't been doing a lot of recording recently um i have been playing some games like off camera which is something that i don't really do much of to be honest and i've been kind of i've, I've had the itch for a while to get into a japanese rpg so i fired up the the nintendo switch and i saw nino kuni was on sale uh a about six weeks ago now probably more than that it was like 7.99 something like that and i thought i'll give it a go because it's supposed to be this renowned rpg um i got 18 hours into it and i just couldn't i could not um get into it at all uh it just was was not my thing i hated the characters i hated the battles i just the, the visuals were okay uh it's very much studio ghibli or ghibli however you want to say it um it just felt like a poor man's pokemon and uh i, I kind of started questioning myself oh you sure are you sure you really want to get into a japanese rpg because this is supposed to be like one of the best ones ever made and you're not a fan um so a little bit uh, later on um after that about a couple of weeks after that a friend of mine actually sold me persona 5 uh, not the royal edition what is going on with my hat there we go um he actually sold me persona 5 royal edition not royal edition the standard edition for the playstation 4 and holy shit i've never played a persona before but um i have been very much engrossed in that game um the characters are fun and weird in a cool japanese way uh i don't know if that makes sense but hey there we go uh fantastic music and a really dark and interesting story that's kind of got me gripped but uh, i'm only about eight hours in still on the first dungeon so yeah I, i'm kind of enjoying that I'm, I'm glad i decided to try something a little bit different and go back to the japanese rpg games um because i haven't played one for about 15 16 years in fact i think the last proper japanese game that i tried or japanese rpg was probably blue dragon on the xbox 360 the one that destroyed totally destroyed my 360 about four times before i gave up on it that is on the the to let's play list actually blue dragon because i'm determined to get to the end of it i've also been playing cyberpunk because my missus bought it for me for christmas um yeah uh not quite what i was expecting to be honest uh, i'm playing it on the pc so it runs okay and it looks good um my aging 1060 is is just about hanging in there um but i was kind of expecting this huge sprawling like cyberpunk rpg where you can really get invested and lost into some really cool characters and and totally get lost in the city itself because the city itself has got so much potential but the game is just it's so limiting with the lack of ai and uh, the characters just aren't that special so far and apart from just doing endless missions of go here shoot everybody this isn't really there isn't really a lot to do we were kind of we were kind of led to believe that there was um a mul multiple ways of like completing each task and there's a huge skill tree which there is there is a huge skill tree um but so many of the things in the skill tree just aren't 
really like worth it there, there's some there's a handful of really good skills and perks and then there's about 80 percent of just shit that you're never gonna use um so yeah cyberpunk i'm enjoying the game i'm waiting for the bugs oh actually the quest i'm on now has actually bugged out uh, <laughs> yeah so i have to find a load of taxis essentially uh i'm not going to go into it in case somebody actually wants to play it. it is a very new relevant game um but let's just say the taxis won't activate even though i'm standing next to them and the bloke well the ai construct that phones you to give you information on these taxis it actually comes up saying he's calling you and it says push t to answer but you can't answer game just bugs out so yeah wait for a patch for that one the story is in cyberpunk as well the main story is not what i was expecting i mean admittedly i wasn't really expecting much because i you know stayed away from every spoiler i could but it's it's different in quite a good way it's actually quite an interesting i will say that's the redeeming factor so far of cyberpunk is the story um yeah it, it took me by surprise what it actually entails but uh it's interesting uh the keanu reeves character from what i've seen uh not a fan uh ugh, yeah maybe he'll grow on me i have only just encountered him so a lot of people don't seem to like him much but maybe he'll grow on me i'm not sure there was a character that you start off with early in the game uh, and he's really cool, really like him. They they set him up quite nicely. And there's another character in, early on in the game that's really cool. And they set her up really nicely. And, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we won't talk about what happens. But, uh, yeah, the main characters that you think are going to stick with you. Don't get too invested. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, we have had Christmas Pass two days ago, which was really nice, actually. Uh, as I said, my partner was meant to be working all the way through it. But luckily, she actually ended up having two weeks off. So, it was actually nice. We got the whole family together because uh, we were only in Tier 1 lockdown in Cornwall. We were the only place in the country that's Tier 1. We're now Tier 2. So we could have uh, meetings of six people, and would you happen to believe it? There was just six of us, um, and it was really nice to go home for Christmas, actually, even if it is just up the road. Uh, we exchanged presents, uh, drank lots of alcohol, which was fun. And I'll show you a couple of the cool things that I got. I got this awesome Wolverine Mega Blocks, uh, UNSC Wolverine from Halo. Took me about three hours to build this bad boy last night. I'm very pleased with how it came out, actually. I think it's like 450 odd pieces. Um, and yeah, this this was cool. All lifts up. You can, uh, you can actually fit the ODST trooper in there as well. And these uh, missiles actually do fire, like so. And they do go surprisingly far as well. So that was cool. That was uh, one of the things that... I really enjoyed because I love Lego and stuff like that. Um, I actually also, where is it? This is my original um, PS4 controller that I got with my launch uh, PlayStation 4 all those years ago now, about eight years ago. Uh, and it died recently. I haven't actually used it for months and months and months, but I turn it on. Every time I turn it on, it basically crashes the system. Turns out there's a button that's permanently wedged down, which, yeah, really sucks. Uh, I've been toying with the idea of getting it repaired, but my partner actually bought me this for Christmas. Last of Us Part 2 Limited Edition Control Pad. It is completely sealed. These are really hard to get hold of, and I think she paid about £90 for this. Um... And it's 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 very, very limited. So I'm not sure if I actually want to open it and use it or if I'm just going to leave it in the box for now. And um, if I do need it later on down the road, perhaps I will open it up uh, because I love new. There's nothing like a brand new control pad. But um, The Last of Us 2, the actual game, was... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it was something. It, it was okay. I, I, I'm not sure I buy into all the controversy around it, but um, it, it wasn't the best experience um, ever, as we were hoping. Also managed to find this the other day, which is Munch's Odyssey, Oddworld. Always wanted to play this on the original Xbox. Uh, we actually bought this a while ago. The HD version came out on um, the Switch, maybe other things as well. But it doesn't play very well. It doesn't play very well on the Switch at all. And this is a game that I remember when I first got my Xbox OG. Because you can't say Xbox One anymore because Microsoft are fucking retarded. And, um, you know, don't know how to name consoles. This was, the, I had the demo of this game. And I played it over and over and over and over again. And I could not freaking believe the visuals. The, it was absolutely stunning. Uh, another thing that I got from my missus, um, a new chair, new gaming chair. I got the Corsair T2 Road Warrior. She actually got this in a Black Friday sale. Actually arrived damaged, kind of. Um, one of the brackets wouldn't go on properly, which I have now fixed and does go on properly. And it has a very slight, she says it's extreme. But it's a very slight cosmetic crack on the bottom. Now, she complained to the company that we bought it from, Scan, who said we need to take it apart and send it back. Which would have been a huge pain in the ass because all the packaging was already in the bin. And recycled where possible. So, she also sent an email to Corsair, the company. And they said, oh, very sorry to, to hear that. We took photos and sent it to them. And they said, oh, keep the old chair and do with it what you will. We're going to send you a brand new one from the factory. So, yeah, we actually now have two. <laughs> She's got the old one that has a slight crack. Apart from that, it's perfect. Uh, and it's only over the, the hinge cover as well. So it doesn't mean anything at all. And I have this one, which is absolutely perfectly fine. So that was cool. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Jimmy Fails for sending me on a Musha on Steam. Uh, I did not expect that at all. In fact, I think it was Boxing Day that I actually got back to my computer and realized you'd actually sent me a game. Um, thank you very much for that. I will be playing on a Musha because uh, I, I, it's one of those games that I never played and it was huge. Um. And for some reason, it just skipped me part by on the PlayStation 2 generation. Um, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches has been telling me about it for, for a while. And I believe, uh, Jimmy, you've said about it as well. It's basically Resident Evil, but with swords. Fun fact, I did actually buy it on the PlayStation 4 a few months ago. But and then I played like the first hour of it, really liked it, and then didn't have time to play anymore. So the fact I've now got it on the PC is wicked very very happy very grateful for that you you don't have to buy me games but man that's really really nice of you thank you um and talking of reader of jill sandwiches he also bought me and sent me a game as well um i couldn't believe it. i saw like jimmy there and then underneath that there's uh, another person sending me games as well like oh my god guys 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 this is really fucking cool of you thank you you don't have to do it um now what did he send me he sent me a game that I've never heard of. It's apparently a survival horror-esque game. Uh, where is it? I've got like 500 odd games here. I'm sure. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I like the fact they your, your Steam library is now so large you can search, which is nice. So, ah, yes. Yeah. So, uh, he sent me Curse, the Eye of Osiris, which is some kind of survival horror, I do believe. Uh, I'm going to really dig into that one. So, um, I guess when we finished our current series, we're going to go on to Onomusha, which I'm really looking forward to. And then we're going to also give Curse the Eye of Osiris a go. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for those. Like, I don't expect anything, but 
that was really really nice um to see those two uh i wish i'd actually you know seen them on christmas uh, I, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging there like i don't know thinking i'm un ungrateful or something but i i didn't go near my computer until kind of the tail end of boxing day and even then i don't really you know check steam that much uh, unless i'm playing a game on steam so thank you very much for those uh, they will be enjoyed and we will uh we will certainly be uh, exploring those together on the channel uh this year talking of things to expect this year um we do have a new series starting tomorrow i believe no day after tomorrow uh, a game that i should have done a very very long time ago a game that i've been playing the shit out of recently uh, on multiple platforms that i'm finally bringing over to to this uh we were going to stream it years ago um but then i moved into this house where we don't have any internet really at all and hopefully we are going to be moving this year at some point um because we cannot we can't go on with in the internet situation like this it, it's a fucking joke so that's going to be happening uh and what else yes also i'd like to give my friend uh rich a shout out as well you've seen him on this channel before now if you're big into the wii u um if you go on to facebook and look for we users there is actually going to be a link for it in the description down below uh he actually runs one of the biggest wii u pages on facebook and he's actually currently running a raffle i'll leave a, a link for that in the description as well um where you can buy a couple of tickets tickets are a pound each and you can win a big stack of wii u games uh, all the money is going to charity it's going for an alzheimer's um charity so i was really hoping to shout that out before christmas there's only 200 tickets available it is worldwide but if you do win you have to pay postage for the games as well because i think that's fair enough but all of your money will be going to charity um the 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 winner is going to be picked by a computer program i think on the actual app itself so yeah everybody's in for a fair shot and it's only a quid it's for charity it's for a good cause um and that is it really uh as part from that business as usual i hope we all have a much better uh 2020 thank you for the games online thank you for the continued support and have a good time, guys. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.